Hi, thank you for tuning in to the GeekSmart LB200 preview. The LB200 Smart Lock features fingerprint unlock as well as mechanical door unlock. The LB200 features one touch unlock and auto lock function. All right, let's take a look at what's inside the box of the LB200. All right, so let's open it up here. Take a look inside here. So it comes with a manual here and a, a contact card if you need to contact us. And over here we have, first of all, a couple of accessories or important things. We have a key and a spindle. Some rubber gaskets for protecting your door. It comes with some screws for installation. It comes with a a strike plate and some screws for that as well. And here we have the latch, the dead latch. We also included a couple of batteries here. And last but not least, the lock itself. Here, let's take it out. Let's take a look at it. We have the fingerprint scanner here, and also the hole for the. So let's try and install the LB200 into our door here. First. We take the latch and we want to put that into the door frame. Just like so. If there is no hole into your door, you want to make a hole first. Now let's attach the latch into the door. We fasten the latch into the door with two screws. Let's use a screwdriver for that. There we go. Now that the latch is inserted into the door, we want to go ahead and prepare the door handle. First, we take the, uh, the exterior handle and we have this spindle here. And we want to take the spindle and put it onto the door handle. Now, something important, something important here to notice is that if your door handle is a right-handed door. We want to take this pin and put it into the spindle here and put it horizontally. This is a right-handed door. If your door handle is a left-handed door, you want to take the spindle and turn it 90 degrees like so. As you can see, the pin here is vertical to the door handle. Next up, we want to take these connecting screws and screw them into the door handle, like so. You want to do this for both connecting screws, but you don't want them to be too tight. There we go. Now remember to turn it as to a right opening door, like so. We take the exterior handle here, remember, Position correctly according to your door. Horizontal if it's a right-handed door. Vertical if it's a left-handed door. And we put it in, into the into the latch. So put the parts into the holes, and it should pop out nicely, like so, on the other side. Fits nicely there. Now we take the other side, the interior handle. Plug it into the spindle, like so. Now, if you want to take extra care and protect your door, you can use these rubber gaskets. You need to put them on before the handle, but it's not strictly necessary, and I chose not to do so. Next step, we take these two screws here and screw into the connecting screws. We do that on the interior handle side. There you go. Find the connecting screw. And screw it into. For the other screw, you want to Turn down the door handle like this and then fit the screw 
There we go. There we go. Now that the dollar is installed properly, maybe you wanna try and see if it works. So this is the exterior handle. You try and try and pull it, and nothing should happen. Good. You try the interior handle, and it opens. Good. Let's get this dollar running. So we will try and put some batteries in there. You only need to put batteries in the exterior handle. No need to put exterior uh, um, batteries into the interior handle. So use a screwdriver to open up. Take out the screw, and we use a little pin, which is on the key the key ring, to pop out. It's battery cover. There we go. And, and as you can see inside, it's empty. All right. So we want to put in the batteries with the positive pole on the bottom, and the uh, we want to fill in two batteries. There we go. Pop them in there, and then as you can see there, and then we want to fasten them with the cover there. We want to use the screw to fasten it as well. They're a bit tight. Now the handle should react to you and you can open it. It's very important. The next step is very important because without setting up the lock, the lock will unlock to anybody, meaning if you have not registered a fingerprint as an administrator, you need to do it immediately. The lock will now open to any fingerprint. So, 